how does Party Town work? So if you don't know, Party Town is a new way to be able to run code in a web worker without having to build that code for the web worker environment. So if you don't already know, browsers can support running JavaScript in another process, allowing you to actually run JavaScript in parallel. Now, the beauty though is this could be great for performance, but has one huge caveat. Almost all of your JavaScript will not run in a worker. That's because the worker environment is different. It has different global variables, it has different access. It cannot touch the DOM, stuff like that. Now, the beauty of Party Town is Party Town gives you the ability to access main thread objects as needed from the worker thread using a very clever trick. What this means is you could actually run, for example, all of your third party scripts in the worker thread, and now you're no longer paying a performance cost. So, the solution here is actually to have those scripts run in the worker thread. Now, you're probably asking, that sounds interesting, but how does it work? Integration looks like this. It could be added to literally any website. You add a script tag with a little bit of inline code, so PartyTown can then find PartyTown scripts and run them in the worker thread. And then you could take any of your scripts tags and add type equals text slash PartyTown, and those scripts will now magically run in the web worker instead of on the main thread, coming at no performance cost and not slowing your website down. So next, you're probably wondering, well, how does it do that? So let's say this is the code that you have running through PartyTown. By default, everything runs in the web worker. You can run any JavaScript code that you'd normally expect. But as you can see here, we're accessing the window object, window.location.href to look at the current URL. That may not exist in the worker thread. So if it doesn't, we're gonna need to hop to the main thread to find out what that value is because it's accessing window object contents. What PartyTown does is it'll run all of this in the web worker until you have a line of code that needs to access the main thread. When that happens, we can send that to the main thread, evaluate and send it back to the worker thread without interrupting anything. What PartyTown does now is it uses proxies in JavaScript to be able to intercept those attempts to access window, dot location, et cetera, and actually send those over to the main thread to get the real value and return that. The secret here is we need to access the main thread synchronously and block the worker thread. Now, JavaScript is a non-blocking asynchronous language, so how do we do this? Way in the past, there was a thing called synchronous XML HTTP requests. We could actually make synchronous requests to a URL and block the thread waiting for the response. Now, this was removed from the main thread because blocking the main thread is extremely problematic. It will freeze the page and the page is no longer interactive or could run any other code. But in the web worker thread, this actually is allowed because blocking the worker does not block the main thread. You can still interact with the page and if things like analytics are frozen for a moment, that's actually, for certain use cases, not a problem. So we can trigger the synchronous XHR and send a request to this proxy town location, which is a secret location. So next, we can use a service worker to intercept that request. So now that request never actually goes to a backend, it's just intercepted by another worker that can then send a post message to the main thread asking for the real value. When it gets the real value, it can send it back and then unblock the worker thread again so it can continue. So then on the main thread, we listen to the message, we then evaluate what are you looking for, what property would value, and then we can find what to send back and return it. To better illustrate, here's a quick example so you can see where each of these steps happened. Most of the code happens in the worker thread, but when we need to do a request, it goes to the service worker, which messages the main thread, which then goes back to the worker and then back to the web worker to then reply and continue running your code. The end result is virtually any JavaScript can run in the worker thread. We even handle things like references. So if you're running query selector and you get a reference to an element, it returns a proxy object that then listens to the fields and the methods you call, and it can send back to the main thread, look up that reference and run those and return it. Meaning this is not limited to simple use cases. This is surprising robust. PartyTown is currently in beta, and we recommend primarily using it today for analytics. Many large websites are using it in production for this use case very happily. For things like full apps or things that do heavy DOM read and writes, PartyTown may not be the most optimal thing, because if you're going back and forth from the main thread a lot, there could be a small cost associated, especially if you're writing to the DOM. Now, we do some smart performance optimizations like batching and queuing to minimize the impact, but we wouldn't say you should run your React app in PartyTown today. But things like Google Analytics, various other tracks analytics services, including first-party analytics. We write first-party code at builder.io as well, where we actually have amplitude segments, stuff like that running through PartyTown. Things that just run JavaScript and occasionally make HTTP requests and occasionally access a couple window properties run fantastically. You should try it out for yourself. We are also exploring building frameworks optimized for PartyTown.
So Quick is a framework optimized for the edge, things like edge workers, CDNs, etc. But this can also be repurposed to run in a worker and minimize the thread hop. So stay tuned for that because we may have worker optimized frameworks like Quick coming soon. If you'd like to learn more about PartyTown or try it out, you can go to partytown.builder.io. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it.